Greetings from Tesla's exciting new era, where the business is set to transform the energy sector with the opening of a new mega pack factory in Shanghai. Although some analysts fail to see the bigger picture by focusing only on quarterly details, Tesla is doubling its mega pack capacity, potentially bringing in $50 billion in revenue and $15 billion in profit annually. Nevertheless, there is no doubt that Tesla's energy business has a bright future. Please click the like and subscribe buttons before we begin to help us continue to produce videos. With that said, let's get started with the video. Join us as we delve into the specifics of Tesla's most recent developments and examine what the future holds for this innovative company. Noteworthy updates have been verified at Car Factory announcement would have been great, but the news that Tesla is building a mega pack factory in Shanghai is even more bullish. Production is expected to start in about a year, and construction will begin next quarter, effectively doubling Tesla's mega pack capacity to 20,000 per year. This could translate to $50 billion in new revenue or $15 billion in profit annually, as estimated by Gary Black. Many people are still unaware of this huge deal. Given that Tesla's net profit for the previous year was $12.5 billion, this is noteworthy. It's fascinating to observe that mainstream experts seem to just pay attention to quarterly details, ignoring the bigger picture. It never ceases to amaze me how they ignore the force for the trees during the signing ceremony Tom and Grace Howell were in attendance. Their failure to realize the very minor investments producing products with a two-year backlog is similar to that of the Model S and X deliveries and production rates. The notable thing about the Mega Pack factories is that their products will be sold not just in China, but also on a global scale. It's just a matter of time until a factory is constructed in Europe. Because Mega Packs are sold for more than 400 per coal, and Tesla purchases batteries from Cal for about 100 per coal, the battery alone accounts for about half of the Mega Pack's cost. When installation, maintenance, and other costs are taken into account, the profit margins are even more remarkable. Unfortunately, due to its incredible potential, Tesla's energy business isn't priced in potential in 2025. It's an exciting time for Tesla, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Tesla's gross profit from mega packs alone could reach $10 billion, but the street is only modeling energy revenues at $9.4 billion. We only have clues as to how long it will take to scale the mega pack factory. But Bradford is scheduled to post comprehensive results of his mega factory which he calls a mega patriot. Rob's stakeout had a keen sense of business and the talent for making money. So when he heard of two factories, one in Leifrau and the other in Shanghai, that could yield enormous profits, he knew he had to look into it. On a clear morning, he headed to the city's tallest building and climbed to the rooftop, where he had a clear view of the surrounding area. From this vantage point, he watched as Simis pulled out of factories one after another, each loaded with goods that were ready for transportation. The thought of such immense potential profits sent a shiver down Stakeout's spine, and he couldn't help but accept the possibilities that lay before him. As he watched the Semis, his mind was racing with the potential profits that could be generated from the contents. He estimated that the combined net profits from these factories would easily exceed $12.8 billion per year, a figure that would surpass the total net profits earned by Tesla in the previous year. Stakeout was filled with a growing sense of exhilaration and suspense as he realized he had to take action. The enthusiasm didn't end there as he moved quickly to take advantage of this chance and started formulating strategies on how to access the enormous rewards that were waiting for him. Renowned investor Gary Black has published new SMS messages, a new catalyst list, and a new price estimate for Tesla shares. Rob was aware that as soon as they became accessible to the public, he would review them. These updated projections and pricing objectives took into account Tesla's most recent price reductions, the opening of a mega pack factory in Shanghai, and the new Tesla Model Y with 4680 batteries, which he anticipated would be a flanker product that would lower the Model Y's beginning price below $50,000. Rob was certain that the cost on Monday, cuts in upcoming product releases would be the talk of the town, but he thought that people were overlooking the wider picture. The true game changers were the Mega Pack factories. Although Mega Packs had not lived up to the hype in the past, Gary Black was confident that they would be the focus of Tesla's upcoming earnings call. The Shanghai factory was about to start production, and there was talk of a potential factory in Europe. If all three factories were combined, the net profits could exceed $20 billion, and the gross profit would be even higher. However, 
Rob factored in the new scale of production and potential taxes. Rob was excited about the mega pack factories and knew that they would play a big role in Tesla's long-term success over the past three years. He eagerly anticipated the call in hopes of learning more about the potential profits of the factories and maybe even some guidance for the future. When you consider that Tesla has been launching a new factory around every eight months, it's a tremendous accomplishment that begs the question of what other projects they are currently working on. A recent announcement that has caught many people's attention is that Tesla has a long list of factories available. Some had assumed that the factory in Shanghai would be a vehicle factory, but it turns out that this will also be a mega pack factory, which is great news for investors like Leo. The fact that Leo is happy is positive for Elon and Tesla because it indicates that they're doing something right. For some time, industry analysts and Tesla enthusiasts have been hearing rumors about a new project codenamed Highland. Little was known about the project other than the fact that it was a multifaceted initiative with multiple teams working toward a common goal. The project's goal was to improve efficiency and lower costs for the updated Model 3, one of Tesla's most popular vehicles. Every team concentrated on a particular area of the vehicle, such as the infotainment system, chassis design, or battery system. Despite the lack of specifics, industry analysts and enthusiasts were giddy with excitement over the possibilities of the Highland project because the Model 3 was already a top performer in the electric vehicle market and Tesla was known for its closely guarded development problems. What made the project interesting, though, was that the teams were purposefully divided. Each team worked independently of the others, and few people knew the full extent of the project as a whole. As word of the project spread, investors and fans alike eagerly anticipated any updates. With the teams working hard behind the scenes, the future of the Model 3 and the electric vehicle industry as a whole appeared brighter than ever. Analysts and enthusiasts believe that the rumor is somewhat credible but not fully credible. Nonetheless, it's still something to talk about and raises some questions. If the project succeeds, which has seven seats, and the Model X, which has six or seven seats, however, the extra seating does come at price. The seven-seater Model X costs an extra $3,500. It could solidify Tesla's position as a leader in the industry. Is there any reason, such as controlling leaks, why the teams are operating independently? It's an interesting idea, but it might not work in practice. If there are too many teams working on different projects, you might end up with a disjointed final product. There's probably more to the story than what's being said, but that's just conjecture for now. Perhaps they're trying to generate more ideas by having separate teams so that they can choose the best one in the end. Whatever the case, it's evident that Tesla is keeping busy with all of these projects, and it's interesting to see what they have planned. Happy Easter to those of you who observed the holiday, and if you own stock in Tesla, don't forget to like and watch the suggested video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for future updates. We'll see you in the next video.